Paul Morgan's starting lineup is brought to you by Blodorn Lumber at blodornlumber.com. Browse the virtual showroom, view the current sales, complete a credit application, and shop the entire inventory online. Whether you're a contractor or painting your living room at Blodorn Lumber, you'll get the same friendly service and advice to make your job easier. Visit Blodorn Lumber in Fort Morgan at 130 State Street. So starting for the Fort Morgan Mustangs tonight, Tony Swetzik, Tate Kimball, Joey Schneider, Wes Anderson, and Eric Kimball. The opening tip is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. With two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan, Ingmeyer Phillips can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or needs. So opening tip controlled by Vista Peak Bison. And Sanusi hands it off to Ortiz. Now he gets it back out to Romero. Washburn. Washburn. Oh, nice block on the plate by Joey Snyder. And a foul call on a push on Vista Peak. And that will go against number three, Sanusi. So quick foul early here on Vista Peak. Morgan controls it, get it into the right corner to Joey Snyder. Snyder now to Anderson out high. Anderson looks to get it underneath, and he ends up throwing the ball out of bounds, trying to look for Kate Kimball, and it was well over his head. So a turnover early here by the Mustangs now as, well, as uh, Washington brings it up court. She said Washington is their leading scorer. 17 points a game. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Ortiz. His shot no good. Rebounded by Joey Snyder. He gets it out to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball now over to Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson drives it down the lane. Kicks it out to Tate Kimball out high. 6.50 here in the first period. No score. Wes Anderson from the free throw line. His shot is just off the front of the rim and no good. Now Washington with the ball up the left sideline. Kicks it into the corner. Now it's going to go underneath and off the hands. Uh, borrows for Vista Peak and Vista Peak will put on full court pressure here as the Fort Morgan Mustangs get the ball in. Get it to Joy Schneider, now to Tony Swetzik. Swetzik to the back to Schneider, now to Anderson. Anderson has it taken away by Sanusi from the back. Now a shot is going to be up and good by Butler. First points of the night go to Vista Peak on a layup by Butler now Joey Schneider gets the ball. The ball is taken away by Sanusi. Could have had a foul call there easily, but nothing called. Now they throw the ball away. Fort Morgan inbound far into the court. They get it into Snyder. Now to Tate Kimball. Back to Snyder. Now to Tate Kimball. And they look to trap when they get it into a corner. Now the to Wes Anderson. Now to Tate Kimball. His little layup is going to be up and good by Kimball. A nice layup there by Tate Kimball from the left side. Two to two here for the early here in the first period. Now to DJ Ortiz. His shot is going to be up and good. For Ortiz, now the Mustang gets the ball off court to Wes Anderson. Dropped out of the hands of Wes Anderson. So Fort Morgan Mustangs will retain possession to the left side baseline of their basket. And they look to get the ball in. They get it into Wes Anderson, left corner. Knocked away from him. A lot of, a lot of a slapping here by Vista Peak and nothing being called. Now Eric Kimball gets run into a no call. Gets it back from Tony Swetzik. Swetzik sets the screen. Gets it off to Tate Kimball. Now they're going to call Tate for the travel. Chad Enright is the head coach for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. His assistants are Harrison Chisholm, Jeff Moore, and T.W. Scott. So Henry Weimer comes into the game for Wes Anderson here with 5.05 to go in the first period as the Bison up 4-2. to two. 
Now Washington takes the three, and that is up and good for a three by Washington. Now Tate Kimball with the ball brings it up, not quite the half court yet. Gets it off to Joy Schneider, back to Tate Kimball. Now to Eric Kimball, there's going to be a foul called, a blocking foul, and that will go against 33. That will go against Faro. Before Morgan inbound, far side, about 10 feet up from the baseline. Tony Slessing looks to get it in into Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball now back to Tony Slessing. Slessing back to Kimball. Kimball just inside the arc gets it off to Slessing. Slessing three is up and no good. Rebounded though finally and off of Henry. Yes, off of Henry Weimer. So Ortiz to inbound. As they had a timeout here, short timeout as they were, somebody was tying a shoe. Now Washington gets the ball up court and knocked out of bounds by Gary Kimball. Oh, they, oh, they're giving it to Fort Morgan. I'm at the other end of the court and I thought that went off of Eric Kimball. But we'll take it. Eric Kimball now all the way to the lane. His shot is up and no good. No foul called. Now Washington down court. His pass is a little wide of Barrows, but he gets it back. And now to Sanusi. Now there's going to be a foul called on Tony Sweatsick on the on a push. So first team foul, first personal foul for the Mustangs. Bice it up seven to two. Now Barrows to inbound right of their basket. They look to get it in and do get it into Ortiz. He kicks it out to Butler. Butler backs it out. Now he drives it down. He gives it off to Washington. Washington Juke. Now he gives it off to I believe that was Camusi. He puts it in for the two. So Fort Morgan down 9-2 to two here early in the game. With 3.42 to go in the first period. Tate Kimball now drives it down the lane. He gives it off to Henry Weimer. There's going to be a reach foul on Ortiz. I believe the two that's going to go again. We'll see. That's who it is. Ortiz is first. So three team fouls on just a peak and one on the Mustangs. The Mustangs down nine to two. As they get it in. Take Kimball out high. Keeps control of the ball. Now take Kimball. Shot is going to be up and off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Butler. Butler goes all the way and that shot is going to be up and good by Butler. Did they call an offensive foul? They called it. Oh, they called an offensive foul on Butler. So Butler was his first. So take the two off the board. Still nine to two in favor of Vista Peak. As a thirty-second timeout has been called. I believe that was by the Mustangs. This Fort Morgan timeout is brought to you by Eric Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, early Toyota East at 1209 Main Street in Fort Morgan will professionally fit you into the car or truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, early Toyota East. So from our vantage point, I did not see who, which Mustang had got down there and got in position uh, to get that charge call. If that was a big call there against Vista Peak. And they look to get it in, get it into Kimball. He is tripped, no call. On that foul is made. To Joey Schneider now to Henry Weimer. Henry Weimer now to Joey Schneider. Schneider gets his shot blocked by Barrow. But out of bounds, off the, then they're off the head of Barrow and out of bounds. TJ Bauer into the into the game for the Mustangs. Now they get into Joey Schneider. Joe Schneider, though, his pass is intercepted in the lane and taken by Butler. Now Butler gets down court. Now to Ortiz. Ortiz, he gets the ball. Too far for the shot. 
the first basket of the night for Barrow. Now Joey Schneider gets it across the loop. The cross court pass is going to be taken away by Barrow as Linda Ortiz. And now to Butler. Butler all the way down the lane. His shot is going to be up and good. And he is going to be fouled. And that will go against Henry Weimer, his first. So Butler did get his two points back. And now a free throw for Butler. So Butler on the year. From the free throw line, that one is up and good by Butler. But Butler is a 73% free throw shooter. So Tate Kimball gets to Henry Weimer. Henry Weimer, his little shot is up and good in the lane. And now 14 to 4 here for Vista Peak with 209 to go and counting. Now Omela Washington, his shot is going to be up and good by Washington. Five points on the night for Washington. Now Anderson brings the ball up court. Ball is going to be taken by Bauer. Bauer into the lane. His little jumper is going to be short and off to the right. Shot up by Eric Kimball is no good. Now it's going to be off of Eric Kimball on the rebound and out of bounds. So now four substitutions here for the Vista Peak Bison. The only one that stays in is Washington. And ice it up 16 to 4 with a minute 42 to go here. First period as Washington gets it back. He drives it down the lane. His little right handed shot is up and no good, but he is going to be fouled on the shot. And I believe that is Pete Kimball. It is. He picks up his first third team foul on the Fort Morgan Mustangs. So Washington will go to the line to shoot two. His first shot is up and good. Washington on the year is an 84% free throw shooter, 83 of 99 from the free throw line. So he gets to the free throw stripe many times. Next shot is also up and good. So the Mustangs down 18 to 4. Now as Washington comes out and Butler goes in for the Bison. Now throw the full court pressure. Get down to Henry Weimer. Henry Weimer's shot is partially blocked, but he is fouled on the shot. And that will go against Pivy, number 21, his first. So Weimer will go to the line to shoot a pair. So Weimer with his first one is in and out and no good. Premier Farm Credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. They understand and are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Second free throw was good for Henry. 18 to 5 now. Now they get the ball to Butler. Butler in the lane. Oh, who's going to pass to Pivy? They pass it around to get it to Hawkins. Hawkins being guarded by Tony Swessy. Now into the lane is Young. Up and good for Young. His first two of the night. So ball down to T.J. Bauer. Bauer gets it over to Anderson. Anderson finally controls it. It's going to be knocked away from him by a Young. So another turnover here by the Mustangs. And then Vista Peak turns it over on a bad pass down court. 50.6 seconds to go here, first period. Mustangs down 20 to 5. As they try to get the ball in and get it into Sletzik. Sletzik now to Anderson. Anderson drives it down the lane. His little shot. We're going to call a travel on Wes Anderson. So no basket. 42.8 seconds to go. Possession to Vista Peak as Hawkins takes it up court. Looks like they may be slowing it down here. And they take the last shot of the half the way it looks. With 28 seconds and counting. And Hawkins 
backs it out to the free throw, uh, to the uh, half court line. Now 20 seconds. They will look for the last shot. Hawkins now gets it off to Butler. He's still out by the jump circle. 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Butler all the way down. His left-handed layup is up and no good. Rebounded to Vista Peak with four seconds to go. Now taken away. Shot is up and no good by Vista Peak. So at the end of the first period, the Vista Peak bison up 20-5 to five on the Fort Morgan Mustangs on B106 and B106.com. Back here at uh, Vista Peak High School, the Bison lead the Mustangs 20 to 5 here at the start of the second period. Toll Wallio in now for the Mustangs is Pete Kimball, or no, that's not Pete Kimball, he's still out there. Henry Weimer. Pete Kimball shot is blocked out of bounds. I believe that was blocked by Tibby. He's a 6 4 sophomore. Get it into Anderson now to Kate Kimball. Kimball back to Slessig. Slessig to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball, a little jumper from the left elbow is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Knobloch, who is into the game for Vista Peak. Rebounded by Anderson, and a foul is called on the rebound. And we'll see who they give that to. I believe that went on number four, Young. His first. So Anderson gets it back to Slessie. Now cross court to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball down down the right side. Kicks it out to Anderson. Anderson cross court to Slessie. Slessie for a three from the left side. Is off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Pivik. He gets it out to Butler as they hustle down court. He's going to take it all the way, but it looked like a good block by Tate Kimball, but they're going to call a foul on Kimball. So that will be two on Tate. And that will send Butler to the line to shoot two. 7-13 to go, second period. Bison up 20-5, to 16 fouls on the Bison and four on the Mustang. The first one is no good by Butler. Now Joey Schneider comes into the game for Wes Anderson. And Butler stands at the line getting ready to shoot foul shot number two. And that is up and bounces around and is good. Now, full court pressure still by Vista Peak. They get it to Tate Kimball, get it to Eric Kimball across the lane. Now, into the lane, his shot is up and good by Eric Kimball, his first two of the night. So, 21 to 7 now. Different from the right side, his jumper is up and no good. Rebounded by Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball up to Eric Kimball. Kimball now to Tony Swetsick. Swetsick to Wallio in the left corner. Now back to Swetsick. To Eric Kimball has it knocked away, but he gains control of his right. His layup is up, and they're going to call a foul on Vista Peak, and I believe that will go on number four, Young. So Eric Kimball will go to the line for the Mustangs to shoot two. Eric Kimball this year from the free throw line as the first one goes in is 71% from the free throw line. Three points on the night so far for Kimball. 21 to 8, 639 to go. Second period. Second free throw also good for Eric. Now as Vista Peak gets the ball up court. Being guarded by Wallio is Hawkins. Underneath now, and the shot is up and good by Butler. Still full court pressure by the Bison, up 23 to 9. Ball is taken away, down court. Layup is up and good. Assist to Hawkins as Noah Butler puts it in. So now Tate Kimball all the way down court. And it's going to be off of 
Vista Peak. And out of bounds. So Fort Morgan to inbounds in front of the Vista Peak bench. Now wholesale substitutions here for Vista Peak again. And TJ Bauer. TJ Bauer in for the Mustangs. Now Tony Fletcher for a three from the corner. He's in and out. Now fought for Hawkins has it. Now they're going to call a foul on Eric Kimball, I believe, to see what foul is going to go on. So a reach foul there on Kimball. 17 fouls on the Bison, 5 on the Mustangs. Mustangs down 25-9 to nine now with Washington is back into the game. He drives into the lane, kicks it out now to Knobloch. Knobloch goes down the left side. His old jumper is going to be no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider. He gets it out to Bauer. And Bauer hustles it down. Now it's going to be bad pass and taken away by Washington. He kicks it off to Sanusi and knocked out of bounds off of the Mustangs. So 5.20 to go here, second period. Fort Morgan up, or Fort Morgan up. Fort Morgan is down 25 to 9. They get it into the corner now. Shot is up and good by Sanusi. His first of the second half. Now a steal in the back court by Vista Peak. Now as Sanusi finally controls the ball. Sanusi down the left side. He kicks it into Ortiz. He loses it. Now it's been fought for underneath and finally taken away by uh, Wallio for the Mustangs. Gets it to Slesik as he gets it across half court. Slesik now to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball to Bauer. Bauer to Slesik to Joey Schneider in the left corner. Now kick it back out to Kimball. Kimball kicks it to Bauer in the left corner. And that shot is up and good for a three by TJ Bauer. 27 to 12 still in favor of the Bison. Now Washington stops and pops for a three, and that is up and good by Washington. His first point to the second period, 30 to 12. Walio now trapped in the corner, and he is going to be tripped. And I believe that's going to go on Ortiz. And that will be two on Ortiz. That's who it is on, Ortiz with two. So now Wallio will go to the line to shoot a one and one. Now some substitutions here by Vista Peak. Wallio on the year is 85% from the free throw line. First shot is up and no good. Rims out. Henry Weimer back into the game. Vista Peak comes to the down court with Washington. He blows right by. Tony Fletcher puts it in for a two. Eric Kimball into Tony Swetzik. Three and a half, 350 to go here in the second period. Eric Kimball all the way down. No foul called on the block. As Butler takes it all the way down the lane. His shot is going to be up and good by Butler. So a full time out here will be taken by the Fort Morgan Mustangs, so we'll take one with them here. Fort Morgan down 34-12 to 12 on B106 and B106.com. Back at Vista Peak High School, Mustangs down 34-12. to 12. In the first meeting with, the, uh, with Vista Peak, the Mustangs were defeated 77-63 to 63 at home, so... 34 to 12 here for Vista Peak with 33 38 to go here in the first half. Brian Almanza in for the Mustangs. So we have Brian Almanza, Tony Swetzik, TJ Bauer, Henry Weimer, and Cola Wallio in the game. Wallio gets control of it again back in the back court as it was tipped there by Vista Peak. Now gets it down to Henry Weimer. Vista Peak team is very quick and very, uh, very athletic. Now Tony Swetzik for a three from the court, from the left elbow, or from the outside the arc from the left, is up and good by Swetzik. Now Washington straightaway three is no good. That's going to go out of bounds. So possession Mustangs with 3.04 to go. 
That three by Tony Swetsy did come from the right wing. Tip it, or pass is going to be tipped by Butler and taken by Vista Peak. Now, as Butler gets it back, Butler is going to give it to Sanusi. His three is up and no good. If he gets as the rebound, comes to Young. Now, Vista Peak all the way down the lane is going to be up and good by Butler. Let's see who the foul goes on. I didn't check who it was. I'll have it on the board here in a minute. And the foul will go on T.J. Bauer, his first. So Anderson back into the game. Henry Weimer to sit for the Mustangs. 2.34 to go. First half, 36 to 15. Vista Peak. Free throw is up and good. By Butler. Ten points here in the second period for Butler alone. And Eric Kimball trapped in the corner. He gets it to Tony Swetsick. Well, that should have, should have been a travel on uh, Wes Anderson, but not called. But we'll take the points anyway. We don't give anything back. So the two for Wes Anderson on the. Now they're going to have a. Out of bounds, I believe, by this a peak down in front of the Morgan bench. So the Mustangs go in 37 to 17. T.J. Bauer is fouled on the drive, and T.J. Bauer will go to the line to shoot a one and one. And that foul goes against Barrow. That would be his second. So Young with two, Barrow with two, Ortiz with two. For the Mustang, Tate Kimball, the only one with two personal fouls. T.J. Bauer at the line to shoot his first free throw, and that is up and good for Bauer. Four points on the night for Bauer. Now T.J. at the line with 2.02 to go. Second shot is up and good. 37-19 for Vista Peak as they get it down court. They get it down quick. Now Butler into the lane. He dishes it off and shot is up and good by Young. His first two points here in the second period. Now Brian Almanza with it. Gets it over to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball still... Now he gets it down to Bauer. Bauer stops. His foot was on the line. So it is a two. 39-21. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Wes Anderson. Now they're going to have a foul called on Young. That will be three on Young on the rebound. That is 10 team fouls. So now Wes Anderson will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Anderson on the year is um, 78% from the free throw line. So not too bad for Wes Anderson. First free throw was up and good. So three points on the night for Anderson. Tony Swastik, T.J. Bauer, Wes Anderson... Eric Kimball and Brian Almanza in the game for the Mustangs with a minute 22 to go here for a pass. Next shot is also good for Anderson as it rolls around and goes in. And now Sanusi walks the ball up court with a minute 15 to go, being guarded by Almanza, not a pivot. Pivot to Washington. Washington drives it down the lane. His shot is off the rim, off the backboard, and good for Washington. Still four foot pressure here by by uh, Vista Peak. Ball knocked out of bounds and off of Vista Peak. So TJ Bauer to inbound. Looks to get it in. They do get it in. Give it to Eric Kimball. 55 seconds to Eric Kimball. 
Finally controlled to, to uh, Swessig, not a Bauer into the corner. Kicks it back out to Swessig with 47 seconds to go first half. Now Anderson spins into the lane, now gets it to Eric Kimball, and that is blocked out of bounds by Washington. So 40.1 seconds to go here in the first half. 20 sweats at the inbounds, right baseline of the Mustang basket. Nice lob pass into Eric Kimball, but it rims out. Now Washington slows it down. They are going to look to take the last shot. And Eric Kimball out on Washington. 22 seconds to go. Now they're going to throw it around here. Run the clock down for a last shot now. As Sanusi in control of it against Almanza. Gives it off into the lane. Up and no good by Barrow. Rebounded by Anderson. Larry Kimball goes down. No foul called. He gave Bauer. His shot is going to be up and no good. So at the end of the first half, the Fort Morgan Mustangs down 41-23 to on B106 and B106.com. Brian Nickel with Party Nickel back here at Vista Peak High School. We are at halftime where the Mustang boys find themselves down 41 to 23. The uh, game earlier with the girls was an exciting finish. The uh, girls beat Vista Peak 51 to 50. They were up three with 12 seconds to go. Vista Peak uh, had possession and uh, messed around with the ball until almost time had run out and they were needing a three to tie the game and the shot came from inside the arc and it was good but as time ran out so the Fort Morgan Lady Mustangs come away with a much needed victory here tonight 51 to 50 over the Lady Bison so in in the 4A, 3A, Colorado 7 standings, um, if I didn't do this before, um, I'll give it to you now. Vista Peak comes in at 10-0, and 0, Elizabeth 8-2, and 2, Fort Lepton 7-4, and 4, Fort Morgan now 5-5, five and five, uh, Skyview 3-7, and seven, Weld Central 2-9, and nine, and Englewood 1-9, and nine. Fort Lepton will drop out and go into the 3A bracket for the state tournament. And the Fort Morgan Mustangs will be at Skyview Thursday night. The Fort Morgan girls will be home to Skyview uh, in a game that they should win. They beat uh, Skyview earlier in the year. And I believe the boys also won their, their game against Skyview. It was a fairly close game. And they won by four, 46 to 42. We're down to about 10 seconds here in the half, and the Fort Morgan boys have yet to come out of the locker room. I don't know what they do with when the other team hasn't come back out yet. I don't know where they're where they have gone, but they haven't come out of the locker room yet, and they're ready to play here. Uh, here they finally come running out of the locker room. And they will get, they won't have any time to warm up here. So Coach Unrein having a little bit of a talk with him here apparently at halftime. And they get back on the court. So we have uh, Eric Kimball, Joey Schneider, Tate Kimball, Wes Anderson, and Tony Swetsy starting the second half here for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. In the first half, the Mustangs were 7 and 9 from the free throw line for 7 78%. Uh, Vista Peak 5 of 6 for 83%. Uh, turnover here by the Vista Peak to the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Mustangs inbound. That Joy Snyder 
with the ball. He gets it up to Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson to Tony Swetzik. Swetzik into the corner to Eric Kimball. Now Wes Anderson off of Joey Schneider's hand. Saves it inbound. Two, but two bits to peak to Washington. Now Washington goes all the way down. This shot is up and no good. Nice defense there by Tate Kimball as they get it up to Eric Kimball on the right side. Shot up and no good. Three by Swetsy because he just raises the rim and goes down. Picked up by Anderson and put in for the two. And he is fouled on the shot. And that foul will go against Sanusi, his second first team foul. Here in the third period for Vista Peak. 7.20 to go third period. Anderson's shot is no good off the front of the rim. And rebounded by Vista Peak. Now as Butler brings the ball up court. Being guarded by Eric Kimball. Now a three from straight on is no good by Washington. Rebounded by Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball's pass down court to Tony Swetzik. Now right side to Anderson, back to Swetzik. Swetzik back to Kimball. Kimball now just inside the arc is up and good for the two. Kimball with six points on the night. Shot is up and good by Sanusi. Fort Morgan now in possession with Tony Swetzik behind the three-point line. Now inside the three. Back to Tate Kimball. Joey Snyder, right corner. Gives it in to Wes Anderson. Anderson's shot is up and no good. Rebound is by Sanusi. And now he is going to be fouled. And we'll see who that goes on. And I believe that will go on um, Schneider. His first. So first team foul for the Fort Morgan Mustangs here in the second half. And they get it into Ortiz. Ortiz now to Butler. Butler to Washington in the corner. His shot is a two from the corner for Washington. Ball is stolen on the cross court pass by Sanusi. His shot is up and no good, but rebounded by Washington. The full court pressure here hurting the Mustangs. As Swetzik now gets it. Joy Schneider now underneath to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball is going to go up with a shot and he is going to be fouled. And that is going to go against Barrow, I believe. That will be three on Barrow as Tate Kimball will go to the line to shoot a pair. Tate Kimball with two points on the night. First free throw is up and good by Kimball. Now into the game is Isaiah Young and Alex Hawkins for the Vista Peak Bison, leading 47-28. Second shot also good by Kimball. Four points on the night. Now they get it up court here to Sanusi. He drives it down baseline, kicks it out far side now as Hawkins slows it down, pulls it out. Trying to get it to Washington. He drives down the left side. Now into Ortiz. He loses it. Picked up by Anderson. Now to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball across half court to Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson to Joy Snyder. Snyder's little jump from the left side is up and good by Schneider. His first two points of the night for Joy. Come at 5.07 to go here, third period. Fort Morgan down 47 31. Hawkins all the way to the rim, up and good. Now Tate Kimball to Eric Kimball to Wes Anderson. Anderson to Tate Kimball out at the three-point line. Now to Schneider. He's going to try a three from the right side. Up and good for Joy Schneider. And we have a timeout here taken. I believe that was taken by the Fort Morgan Mustangs. We'll keep it here, though. The 
Fort Morgan Timeout is brought to you by Early Toyota East. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Early Toyota East at 1209 Main Street in Fort Morgan will professionally fit you into the car or truck of your choice. Serving all of Northeast Colorado, Early Toyota East. Four forty one to go here in the third period. Fort Morgan down forty nine thirty four. Joey Schneider is hit for five points here in the third period. Now Hawkins gets it up to Washington. Washington's pass is going to be deflected out of bounds off of uh, Tate Kimball. Now Hawkins works the. No, Hawkins won't inbounds it. Isaiah Young will inbound right of their basket. Gets it into Washington. Washington is not out of bounds off of Eric Kimball. Nice defense there by Kimball. Now almost into the corner here will be Young with inbounds for Vista Peak with 4.30 to go. Hawkins now underneath to Young and Young's shot is up and good from the right side of the basket for six points on the night for Young. Now Swetzik with the ball. As he dribbles around being guarded by Hawkins. Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball stops and pops for a three off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Joey Schneider. He gets it out to Tate Kimball. Now to Swetzik. Swetzik gets it into Wes Anderson. He gets it out to Eric Kimball from the left side for a three. And that is up and good by Eric Kimball. So Mustang's making a little bit of progress here on this lead. Ball cross court to Hawkins. He stops and pops for a three. That's off the rim and no good, but rebounded by Washington as it goes long. Now underneath Ortiz. Ortiz's layup is no good. Now rebounded by Anderson to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball is going to put the shot up, and he is going to be fouled on the shot, I believe. Trying to see who they, they call that on Young. That will be four on Young. So take Kimball to go to the line to shoot two, where he just did hit two free throws. So four points on the night for Tate Kimball. Next free throw is up and good. So Kimball is three of three from the free throw line here just in the third period. T.J. Bauer in for Sweaty. Now Young comes out. For Vista Peak, 51 to 38. Second free throw is up and no good. Rebound knocked around and finally come, Pivik comes down with it. Hawkins now hustles up court as he's being guarded by T.J. Bauer. You know, a shot from the right side is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Schneider after uh, Bauer. Bauer hustles all the way down. Layup is going to be up and good by Eric Kimball. So an only 11-point 11, 11 lead here now for this the peak as Fort Morgan has cut into this lead. As they were up 18 at halftime. Now a three from the left corner is no good. Rebounded by Tate Kimball. Kimball to Schneider over to Eric Kimball. 2.54 to go here, third period. Joy Schneider with the ball gets it over to Tate Kimball. Kimball being guarded by Hawkins, I believe, or by Sanusi. Now a shot by T.J. Bauer is up and no good. Rebounded by Pivy. He gets it out to Hawkins. Now they get it down court to Washington. The three from the corner is up and no good. Rebounded by Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball gets across half court to T.J. Bauer on the right baseline. He goes all the way up for the shot, and he is fouled on the shot. And I believe that will go on Ortiz. And if that's on Ortiz, that will be... That will be three on Ortiz. As T.J. Bauer goes to the line for his second trip there tonight. He was two of two earlier in the second period. And his first one is no good. So Fort Morgan find themselves back in a basketball game here. Only down 11. They need to take advantage of every possession here make points here at the free throw line when they can. Next shot is short, so Bauer goes 0 for 2 here 
at the free throw line. Now to Washington in the left corner. He kicks it back out. Now it's going to be taken away by Schneider. Nice defense by Schneider. He gets it to Tate Kimball. Still 51-40. to Poor Vista Peak got a Bauer. Bauer drives down the left side. And it is going to be knocked out of his hands. So Fort Morgan to retain possession. Baseline left of their basket as Bauer looks to get the ball in. They get it into Anderson. Now it's going to be knocked off of Pivik and out of bounds. So Fort Morgan to inbound right baseline of their basket with a minute 59 to go here in the third period. Fort Morgan down 11. They look to get the ball in and the ball is stolen by Washington on the inbound play. Now he hustles it down court. He gets it over to Knobloch. And Knobloch's shot is up and good. We have a 30-second timeout here called by Vista Peak. So Knobloch with two. Actually, yeah, it is. Uh, we were looking here on our score sheet where they have it down here. Actually, his name is Johnson. Johnson Knobloch, JT Johnson Knobloch. He's a 6 3 junior. Now, Fort Morgan down 14, 54 to 40. Minute 48 to go in the third period. Eric Kimball to inbounds. Full court pressure here by Vista Peak. Now Eric Kimball tries to get the ball up court. He gets it up to Tony Slutsig. Slutsig underneath his pass is going to be taken away by Ortiz. And now Washington with it. Loses control of it. Runs it down out by the half court line. He dishes it off to Butler. Butler takes it into the lane. His shot, they're going to call him for a double dribble. So no basket there for Butler. Now full court pressure here again by Vista Peak. And Eric Kimball looks to get the ball in. They get it into Walio. He gets it back to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball's pass down to Tate, to Tate Kimball. His shot is up and good by Tate Kimball on the layup. So down 12, 54 to 42 with a minute to go here in the third period. Oh, nice. Looks like a good block. They're going to call a foul on the shot. We'll see if that goes on Henry Weimer. We'll see who that foul goes against. And that will go against Henry, his second. So that will send Butler to the line to shoot two. He's been quiet here in the third period. He had 15 points at halftime and has yet to score here in the third period with a minute two to go. First shot is up and no good. <coughs> Hit the ground pretty hard there after that block by Weimer. Shot number two coming up here for Butler. And that one is also no good. Rebounded by Eric Kimball. He gets to take, gets it out to Slesic. Slesic now has it taken away by Butler. Butler is going to go up for the shot, and he is going to be fouled by Eric Kimball. That will be two on Kimball. And that will send Butler back to the line to shoot two more. His first shot is not yet taken. Now he takes it, and that is also no good. Stubbs, Gas, and Oil. If you're tired of the same old lunch and dinner menu, switch it up and pick up something new from the hot and cold deli selection at Stubbs, Gas, and Oil. Find great food at low prices at Stubbs, Gas, and Oil in Wiggins. So next free throw by Butler is up, and that one is good. So 16 points on the night for Butler. 13-point lead here for this is a peak now as Morgan gets the ball up court. 
Now, Walio is going to be called for the travel. With 40.8 seconds to go in the third period. Fort Morgan down 13, 55 to 42. Now, Fort Morgan with full court pressure. As Vista Peak gets it in to Washington. Fort Morgan backs off a little bit. They do get it down to Johnson. His shot is up and no good. It's going to be rebounded by Tate Kimball. Now to Henry Weimer and Swetzik. Swetzik to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball all the way down. His shot is going to be just short. Lays it off the rim and no good with 20 seconds to go. Eric Kimball now guarding Butler. With 13 seconds to go, third period, 55-42, Vista Peak. Now down to eight seconds in the hands of Washington. Washington tries to take it down. His shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded to Tony Slesic. So Slesic will hold the ball at the end of the third period. And Fort Morgan Mustangs down 55-42 to on B106 and B106.com. Okay, back to the start of the fourth period, the Fort Morgan Mustangs on 55-42. to Joy Schneider gets it off to Eric Kimball. Now to Schneider in the left corner. He drives baseline. Kicks it back out to Eric Kimball. Kimball for a two. His shot is up and no good. Now as Butler gets the ball down, he is picked by Eric Kimball. Now to Tate Kimball. Now back to T.J. Bauer as Kimball goes down. Now Washington is going to be called for his first foul. He makes it act like he doesn't ever make a foul. That is only his first of the game. So Fort Morgan gets the ball in to Tate Kimball. Now to Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball drives it down into the lane. His shot is going to be up and short. No foul called on the shot as Butler comes away with it. Now to Washington. That should have been a foul. You don't clear your way out with an elbow, but they're not calling anything on Washington tonight. So Ortiz, his shot is going to be up and short, but there's going to be a reach foul as Ortiz went up for the shot. And that will go against Swetik, his second. So Ortiz will go to the line for the first time tonight to shoot two. They're still up. 13, 55 to 42, with 7, 10 to go. Free throw is up and good by Ortiz. So he will get the second. That one is also good. Four points on the night for Ortiz. Wes Anderson into the game for Joey Snyder. Now Fort Morgan getting ready to inbound. Mr. Peak has pulled off their press at the moment. As Tate Kimball drives it into the lane, his shot is going to be partially blocked and taken by Wes Anderson. His shot is going to be blocked. No foul called. Coach Unrein not happy. Taken away by Eric Kimball. Nice job by Kimball. Now it's going to be thrown away. Kimball throws it behind Tony Sweatsy. So 57-42 here, 6.49 to go in the game. This to peak up. Now they're going to have a foul called on this to peak on the inbound play. And that is going to go against Washington. That will be his second. Six team fouls on this to peak, four on the Mustangs. Now as T.J. Bauer gets the ball in, and there's going to be a foul call, a push foul. We'll see who that goes on. That will go on number three. That is Sanusi. So that will send Tate Kimball to the line. to shoot two, and the first one is good for Kimball. He is four or five so far from the free throw line is Tate Kimball. Now Joey Schneider getting ready to check back in for the Mustangs. Second shot is up and good by Tate. So Fort Morgan 
Now down 13 again, 57-44, 6.41 to go. And counting here is Noah Butler gets the ball up court, and it is taken away from him. The ball is tipped and taken away by Washington. Washington is going to go all the way to the rim and up and good by Washington. So now Tony Swetson got the uh, Schneider, T.J. Bauer in the corner for a three, and that is up and no good. Rebounded by Washington. Washington is coming down the left side, and he passes it off to Barrows, and his shot is no good. And the ball is finally taken by T.J. Bauer. Bauer all the way down the left side, and his shot is going to be blocked, but he is going to be fouled on the shot. And we'll see who that goes on. If that's going on Ortiz. And I believe that is on Ortiz. That will be four on Ortiz. So that will send T.J. Bauer to the line to shoot two free throws. Last time Bauer was at the free throw line, he missed both. So he... They need to make some points here at the free throw line. That shot is up and good by T.J. 59-45 with 6.01 to go in the game. T.J. Bauer at the line to shoot his second free throw. And that is off the front of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Ortiz. Ortiz out of Washington being double teamed in the backcourt. And he plays that and comes down. His pass is taken away by Joey Schneider. Now Schneider to T.J. Bauer. Bauer goes up for the shot up and no good. He short arms it a little bit. Rebounded by Tony Swetsick. Swetsick to Tate Kimball. Kimball for a three, and that is off the rim and no good. Rebounded. If that goes on Ortiz, he is done on the rebound. 35. Ortiz has just fouled out of the game for Vista Peak. And Joy Snyder will go to the line to shoot a one and one. Nine team fouls on Vista Peak, only four on the Mustangs here in the second half. Fort Morgan needs to make some points here at the line while the clock is stopped. Joy Snyder. This year from the free throw line is shooting, well, they have him 0 for 9. I can't believe that that's correct. So we'll see. His first free throw is off the rim and no good. 59-45 for Vista Peak with 529 and counting here in the, in the game as Sanusi gets it over to Butler. That is Young. Now they're going to have a foul called on Bauer, I believe. And that will be on Bauer. So Joey Schneider comes out and Wes Anderson comes into the game for the Mustang. As Young looks to get the ball in. Gives it into Washington in the corner for the jumper. Three is up and no good. A rebound by Pivot. And shot is no good, but he is fouled by Wes Anderson. That will be Anderson first. And Pivik will go to the line to shoot a pair. Pivik has not scored yet tonight. The first one is up and good. by Pivik. And this second shot is up and just grazes the front of the rim and no good. And Derek Kimball now has possession of the ball. Gets it up across half court. He gets to Tony Swetsick. Swetsick for a deep three. Up and good for Tony. So two threes on the night for Tony. 60 to 48. Down 12. Now Washington all the way to the lane. He is going to be fouled on the shot. So Washington will go to the line, and that will go against Anderson on his second. So Washington to the line to shoot two. 
Mustangs still down 12, 60 to 48. Washington's first shot is off the side of the rim and no good. He is usually pretty good. He is an 84% free throw shooter. He is Washington. Second shot is good. So now Tate Kimball with the ball up court. He slips and goes down. Tony Slepik does get the ball. Now they're going to have a foul. They're going to call. I guess they called it travel, I guess. I'm not sure what that, what the uh, call was. But it's a turnover by the Mustangs with 4.40 to go here in the game down uh, 13, 61 to 48. As Young can drive it to the lane. He stops the foul. There's Young for a two pointer. He goes over Slessig. Now the ball. Was stolen by Samusi, but he is going to be called for his fourth foul. And I'm surprised that they have not called the technical any of these uh, Vista Peak players. Every time they have a foul call, they are just demonstrative about it and don't think they've done anything wrong. So we have a timeout taken here, so we'll take one with them. 63-48. In favor of this defeat on B106 and B106.com. Back at this Peak High School with Claudia Nickel, this is Brian Nickel, where the Mustangs find themselves down 63 to 48. Kate Kimball is aligned to shoot two, and this Peak has 10 team fouls. First shot was no good by Tate, second one is good. 63-49, a 14-point lead here for Vista Peak with 420 and counting here in the game. Now as they get the ball to Washington, Washington gets it over to Butler. Butler out high, gets being guarded by Tate Kimball. Nice interception on the pass underneath by T.J. Bauer. Bauer keeps the dribble alive, gives it to Tate Kimball in the corner. Now to Wes Anderson. Anderson is going to be called for a travel. As he tries to pivot and get the hook shot up, he's called for the travel and the turnover by the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Down 63 to 49 with 3.57 to go here in the fourth period. He gets the ball into Noah Butler as he's being guarded by Tate Kimball. He backs it back out. Kimball still guarding him as they give the pivot out high. Now they get it across court to Samusi back to Washington. Washington is going to look to go to the hole, and he does. Shot is going to be just short. Anderson gets the rebound to Slessig. Slessig back to Anderson to Eric Kimball down the right baseline. He pulls it back out to Slessig. Slessig pass is knocked away, but picked up by Bauer. Bauer gets it to Anderson. Anderson now to Tate Kimball. Kimball just inside the arc for a two is up and no good. Rebounded by Anderson underneath to Kimball. Couldn't get the handle on it. Now Tate Kimball's shot is going to be blocked by Tibby. As Butler brings it down court now he backs it out against Tate Kimball. 255 and counting here. Now a foul on Kimball. Be three on Tate Kimball. So that should send Noah Butler to the line to shoot a one and one. Now Joey Schneider comes in for the Mustangs and Wes Anderson to take a seat. Still 63-49, 10 team fouls on Vista Peak, 8 on the Mustangs. And Butler is at the line. His first free throw is in and out. Rebounded though by Pivik, and he kicks it back out to Sanusi. <coughs> so Sanusi kicks it out to Pivik. High right side, now out to Butler as, as Tony Sletzik commits the foul. That will be three on Sletzik. That will send Butler back to the line to shoot. A one and one. We'll see if 
Butler connects on this one. He missed his last free throw. And this shot is up and good. So he will get a second. 64-49, 15-point lead here for Vista Peak with 2.40 to go in the game. Next shot is also good. But Vista Peak has backed off of their full court pressure. Eric Kimball has the ball finally taken by Tate Kimball on the right sideline. Now to, to uh, Tony Swetzik. Swetzik for the layup is up and good. So a timeout will be taken by Fort Morgan, and it is a full timeout. So we'll take one with them. 65-51, Vista Peak with 225 to go on B106 and B106.com. Back at Vista Peak High School, where the Mustangs find themselves down 65-51 to with Two minutes and 25 seconds to go here in the game. Vista Peak with possession. As Noah Butler looks to get the ball in Fort Morgan now with full court pressure as they get it into Sanusi. Sanusi is going to be fouled by Eric Kimball. That will be three on Kimball. Ten team fouls now on Fort Morgan. So it will be an automatic two now for Butler as he goes back to the line to shoot two. Equitable Savings and Loan, Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan with locations in Fort Morgan and Brush. They have the financial solutions for you. First shot is no good by Butler. So he will line up for his second that is up and good for Butler. Three points here from the free throw line in the fourth period for Butler. Now Tate Kimball with the ball down court. Goes down. Now Tony Swetnick with a fake in the three up and off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Washington. Taken away by Fort Morgan. And now Joey Schneider takes it up and dunks it in for a two. So 66-53, a 13-point lead here as the Fort Morgan Mustangs with defensive pressure as Coach Enron and there was going to be a foul called on Eric Kimball on the reach against Washington. A minute 50 to go here in the fourth period. Washington will go to the line to shoot two. Washington was hit his first two free throws early on and missed that one. He was one of two earlier here in the fourth period. Now uh, Wes Anderson comes in for Joey Snyder. Second free throw by Washington is up and good. So now Fort Morgan to hustle the ball down court as Tate Kimball draws, gets across half court underneath to uh, Wes Anderson. Anderson to Tony Slutsky. Slutsky shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Eric Kimball. Eric Kimball's shot is up and good. For his first two points here in the fourth period. Now Washington tries to take it all the way to the lane. Now he kicks it back out. Takes it on almost to the half court line. Now Tate Kimball will be called for the foul. That will be four on Tate. That will send Washington back to the line to shoot two. Or he was one of two just moments ago. So you have T.J. Bauer, Tate Kimball, Eric Kimball, Wes Anderson, and Tony Swetzik on the floor for the Mustangs. Washington's first shot is no good. So Fort Morgan down 12, 67 to 55 with a minute 26 to go. Second shot by Washington is up and good. And Fort Morgan now gets the ball on court quickly. Tate Kimball drives it all the way down. T.J. Bauer now from a three from the left corner is up and no good. And rebounded by Butler. And he is going to be fouled by Bauer. That will be the third foul on T.J. Bauer. State Farm Insurance. With the State Farm Insurance Office of Greg Mullen and Brush help you find the best policy to fit your life. Home, auto, life, health. State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give 
Greg Mullen. A call today, 842-4555. So Butler to the line to shoot two. With 119 to go. First shot is up and good. So the Mustang down 14. As Butler gets set to for his second shot, uh, no good, rebounded by Wes Anderson. He gets it to Tate Kimball. Kimball drives it all the way down, and his shot is going to be blocked by Young, but he is going to be called for the foul, and that should be five on him. So Young and Ortiz have both fouled out for Vista Peak. Now Hawkins will come in to replace him. 1.12 to go as Pete Kimball goes back to the line. To shoot two. Tola Wally will into the game for the Mustangs now. Pete Kimball's shot is up and good. Pete Kimball was seven points from the free throw line tonight. Next shot is also good by Pate. So still a 12-point lead here by just a peak with 1.12 to go. Joey Snyder comes in and Wes Anderson to take a seat. As they get it into Washington. Washington being guarded by Wallio, and that is going to be a foul on Tola, his third. And Paul Morgan trying to lengthen this game as much as they can by sending just a peak to the free throw line. Vista Peak as a group uh, shoots 68% from the free throw line. So Washington to go back to the line to shoot two. His first shot is up and good. So now Bauer into the game for Wallio. With 109 to go, Washington at the line to shoot. Foul shot number two. And that is also good. So Tate Kimball to get the ball down court, gets it across half court, ball is tipped away from him and taken by Vista Peak as Noah Butler. They get it down court to Sinusi. Nice block by by Schneider, but clean up and by Washington and he steals the ball. Shot is going to be up and good by Sinusi on the field. So all of a sudden it's back to an 18 point lead here with 43 seconds to go. Eric Kimball with a little jump from the lane is no good, gets his own rebound, tries to go up with it, and he is going to be fouled on the shot. So Eric Kimball will go back through the free throw line. And that foul will go against Kivik, his second. So Eric Kimball will go to the line to shoot two. First shot rattles around and goes in. 75, 58, 37.8 seconds ago. Ray O'Connor's into the game. And Tola Wallio comes back in for the Mustangs as uh, Joey Snyder and Tony Swetnick come out. Next shot is also good for Kimball. As Knobloch gets the ball into the front court being... They're going to see if they finally call a jump ball, and they do. I don't know who possession. I can't see from here. Possession to Vista Peak. And they will inbound far side with 30.9 seconds to go. 75-59, 16-point lead for Vista Peak. And they look to get the ball in. And the ball is oh, it's going to be a foul on a rail. Kana. And uh, he ends up fouling uh, Knobloch or Johnson. So he will go to the line to shoot two. Knobloch on the line has two points. And they're going to say that was a foul. It will send Fanusi to the line, excuse me, and not Johnson. So Fanusi will go to the line to shoot two. His first free throw is rattles around and falls out with 29.2 seconds to go. Mustang down 16, 75-59. 
Second shot is up and good for Samusi. Tate Kimball over to Eric Kimball. 24 seconds to go. Eric Kimball kicks it out to Tate Kimball. Tate Kimball for the shot is up and good for the two. So now just a peak with 10 seconds. Looks to get the ball up court. And they're still being hounded by Fort Morgan. As they knock the ball away and, and Tate Kimball goes down, cannot uh, save the ball from going out of bounds. So 3.2 seconds to go, and with the peak, will inbounds to run this clock out. Fort Morgan will back off any defense here. So at the end of the game, the Fort Morgan Mustangs go down 76 to 61 to this to peak. You can listen. You're listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs basketball on B106 and B106.com. The post game Mustang post game show is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Knowing who you can trust to do a good job is a tough part nowadays. But when you hire Buildings by Design, you can trust to get the building you want when you want it and at the quality you deserve. Start your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. So the Fort Morgan boys go down. 76 to 61, scoring for the Vista Peak Bison. Washington ended up with 27. Hawkins with two. Sanusi with nine. Young with eight. Butler with 20. Pivik with one. Johnson with two. Barrow with two. Ortiz with four for their 76. For the Fort Morgan Mustang, Bauer with eight. Tony Swetzik with eight. Uh, Tate Kimball with 14. Joey Schneider with seven. Anderson with 6, Eric Kimball with 15, and Henry Weimer off the bench tonight with 3 for the Fort Morgan Mustang 61. And as far as turnovers go, the Fort Morgan Mustangs we have down officially with 26 turnovers and 16 for the Vista Peak Bison. Uh, rebounds, the Mustangs were out rebounded 26 to 20 tonight on the board. Uh, so a tough night here for the Mustangs. They will get a chance to get back in the win column come uh, Thursday night as they go to Skyview. Uh, Skyview, I believe, is sitting at fifth place now. Uh, they may be in fourth place. Let me see here what in the Colorado 7 League. They will be uh, in fourth place as Fort Luffin will drop. That will move them up into fourth place. Um, in front of Weld Central and Englewood. So tonight the Fort Morgan Mustangs were 18, 18 of 27 at the free throw line for 66.6% from the free throw line and Vista Peak was 18 of 30 and that is at 50%. So the, uh, as we said, the Fort Morgan Mustangs go down 76 to 61. We'll get uh, back on track hopefully on Thursday night. To, and that will be the last game of the season. And then uh, come Sunday they will have a selection show, we believe, on uh, Chassa. will do uh, later Sunday afternoon. We should know uh, who the boys and girls will play uh, in the first round of the playoffs. The girls will be on Tuesday. The boys will be on Wednesday, we just don't know where yet or who. So they're uh, shutting the lights off on us here. So we're going to go ahead and close out this broadcast. The sound engineer and producer of Fort Morgan Mustang basketball has been Alan Lance. The for Clyde Nickel. This is Blind Nickel. Once, ago, once again, the final scores tonight. The girls win 51 to 50 in an exciting game over Vista Peak. The boys go down 76 to 61 to Vista Peak. Uh, our next game will be Thursday night. We will be at home with the girls against Skyview. Um, you have been listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs basketball on B106 and B106.com. Good night, everybody.